Hello everyone, Elaine Co. reporting for AvWeb from the Aircraft Electronics Show in Orlando. We got some product updates from L3 this week. One is their new electronic standby instrument, the ESI 500, and some added features to their NGT 9000 transponder. So the ESI 500 um, was introduced this year for a replacement product for, uh, well, it's not a replacement, but it's a new product for Part 23 aircraft. And it covers Part, 120, or part 23, uh, Class 1 through 3, it was intended to be a lower cost, complete standby, uh, three inch round uh, casing behind the bezel, so it's an easy install. Uh, it has a uh, lithium ion battery in the back for uh, TSO'd one hour of service life. And I think the greatest feature you'll see is when you look at it. It's a brand new display, it's really high contrast, high colors. Uh, you can get it with uh, synthetic vision. You can port in navigation for uh, GPS or VOR, localize or ILS approaches if you'd like, and uh, you can get it with a dedicated magnetometer for heading, and that's important for those who fly with possibly an electric heated windshield, where you turn that on and your wet compass now will start to spin. Uh, I think when you see the display in action, uh, it, it's very, very appealing, and it's, uh, we think it's a cost-affordable uh, solution for a standby that will meet most uh, pilots needs out there. This is the base unit here which uh, does not have synthetic vision and I'll go through that in a moment but as you can see it's got the the gradient blue and brown top and bottom so it, visually it's very appealing even without synthetic vision. When you see synth synthetic vision it'll really be nice. But everything is accessible with these two, uh, the menu and the, the knob. The knob here is used to control your um, pressure setting. And uh, if you go to standard and flight level 180 or higher, just one touch to push in and it goes right to 2992. To access the other menu features, hit the menu button and you have a slide uh, scale. One of the options is uh, nav mode and you, that adds GPS approaches for uh, LPV or uh, uh, any GPS type of approach and that information as well as the ILS features are pulled over from a navigator or a NAV2 source to be uh, ported on this display. Again you can choose ILS so green needles for the ILS features uh, magenta needles or uh, display for GPS. The other feature you can do is uh, select metric altitude for those customers who may be flying uh, in some of the European countries. Uh, barrel units are easily selectable as well. Uh, millibars, hectopascals, um, and that, that will be displayed up here in the upper right hand buffer. But I think one of the exciting things for this display is our synthetic vision. And as you can see it's beautiful. The, uh, the GPS information is, comes over from the navigator. It's a Jeppesen database worldwide and I think uh, for most of our customers we have sold a lot of them configured with GPS or with the uh, synthetic vision. Another feature uh, set with this uh, display is its uh, own dedicated lithium ion battery. It's a TSO for one hour and then nominally we see uh, more time than that. The other feature is it's got a square bezel that has everything co-located on the display. Airspeed, altitude, attitude, uh, all on the display and in the back it's a round three inch uh, canister for easy uh, installations. Just to reiterate this is the only transponder that has uh, ADSB in and out dual band in with its own display so barring everything else uh, you can see it all on this display. Transponder feature set on this side um, we can slide the, uh, the first screen over to get the traffic. One of the new features of, the tr of our uh, 
NXT or NGT 9000 is uh, that we have ATAS. ATAS now operates to the ground, so there's no silent observer. Um, it works well with ADSB alone and with TAS as well. And again, for those who don't remember, our transponder has an embedded TAS card in it as an option, so you can get active traffic as well. The other feature we've brought to the NGT 9000 is ETOS. And uh, ETOS is a certified uh, train awareness system that's built in software driven to uh, one of the pages. So now we have the ability to, to uh, project ETOS on our display. And no other ADSB transponder can do that. It's pretty cool. Again, the FISB weather uh, graph er, graphically shown on the display. Winds and temperatures aloft, and METARs, TAFs, and NOTAMs on the display as well. Uh, but again, what, we're, uh, what we've introduced at this show, at least this year, the uh, ATAS, which is certified uh, traffic for ADSB, and uh, our ETAS. Thank you very much.